In order to change the mode to display load averaging, the mode button needs to be pressed until LAV is displayed. LAV. Right now the force gauge is set for averaging in force, but it can also be set for load averaging in time. So those are the two options available. In order to change the load averaging values, the more button needs to be pressed three times. Then load averaging needs to be selected, press the enter key. And right now we can um, select between the time and a preload. So in order to set the preload, we would press the F1 button and you can see the arrows in front of the preload. Uh, we have increments of 1, so you know, if we want to change increments of 10, we'd press the right key to increase and left key to decrease the increment. So let's go ahead and leave it at increment 1. Now we want to increase the preload to 25, so we press the up key to 25. So our preload is at 25. If we wanted to change the time, we would press the center F2 button, where the arrow aligns with the time. And here, the same thing by increments of 1, we can decrease. So we will let the time go down to 5 seconds. Right now, we are set for a, a preload in force, in force here and in time here. So let's go ahead and, and do the first test with the preload in force. Press the home button. And now what we're going to do is go to 25 newtons and hold it, and the gauge will calculate the average above 25 newtons. As soon as the load drops below 25 newtons, it will beep twice to indicate the test has ended and capture the data. Now let's go ahead and do a test using the time lapse. So you'd press the mode button three times again, enter the load averaging menu, enter. And now let's go ahead and set the time. So we have the time at five seconds and the preload at 25 newtons. So this is what's going to happen. As, as soon as we reach a preload of 25, the gauge will start counting until it reaches five seconds and end the averaging calculation. But if the load drops below 25 newtons, the preload, the test will end before the time has been reached. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that by pressing the home button. Let's zero the gauge, and now you can see LAV time. So it's going to calculate load averaging in time. Above 25 newtons and 5 seconds, the double beep means the test has ended and it calculates calculated the average within five seconds with a preload at 20 newtons. And then we can zero again to restart the test. The values also can be printed by uh, pressing the X MIT and the load averaging values can also be transmitted.